Hey everyone, um, I decided to check out, uh, if there's any new mods, because there's usually a update every three months or so. So, uh, anyways, I decided to, uh, check this out, see if there's any new updates, and Advanced Mod, of all mods, got an update, and I didn't know, but there's actually two Advanced Mods. So I went ahead and go ahead. I went ahead and downloaded both of them. Uh, it took about it was about seven gigabytes. So if you have seven gigabytes to spare, you can download this. And uh, this isn't a gameplay video. I'm going to show you how to install a mod because I've been asked that like four times how to download and install something and even though there's a million videos out there telling you how to do it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it uh, there's really only two or three steps to installing a mod um, so anyways I'm on ModDB um, you can download mods on this website this is where I get all my mods at I know there's other mod websites out there but this is the only one I know um, so anyways, let me start over. I'm going to show you how to download a mod. That way people can stop asking me. Um, so this is the first thing you'll see. Um, these here are announcements. They're not actual updates. So don't worry about these ones, these first four. Um, I got to advanced mod and stopped. So these might... These ones down here, like, re looks like Redux Mod got an update. And it looks like, I'm not sure, but it looks like Ultimate Apocalypse got an update. Um, I'll have to check that out. The rest of these are from May. And I'm pretty sure I already did an update video for that. So these ones here, I think I'm already done with. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to download a mod and install it. It's not hard. Um, now I don't actually have enough space on my computer to download it again, so you just uh, you just have to pretend that I downloaded it. Um, so, anyways, here's a tutorial. Um, so you click on this, um, you go to file. Uh, this tells you what's new. This here tells you what's new, and it tells you um, what the mod's about. So, and this here shows you, like, uh, trailers for the mod. Um, so you go to files. The rest of these don't really matter. Articles doesn't really matter. Videos and images don't really matter. None of that really matters. Um, so there's two versions of the mod. So this one here, this bottom one, is Soulstorm. And this one here puts vanilla on your Soulstorm. So you can put vanilla or uh, Soulstorm on your on your computer. And if you go to Mod Manager um, let's see if you go to Mod Manager if you go to Mod Manager uh, so you got Advanced Campaign here I know this. I know this hard to see. I know this hard to see, but you got advanced campaign here and campaign missions here, which is two different mods: one Soulstorm, one's Vanilla. Um, and after I'm done recording this, I will record gameplay to try them out. And something I noticed, which I think is interesting, is one of the changes. Um, I know this. Is, I know this is basically impossible to read, so I'll read it for you. One of the new changes is a new librarian ability, and that got me interested. Um, I'm always I'm always interested in new strategies, so yeah, new uh, new uh, uh, what's it called? Librarian ability. So I think that's interesting. 
Um, and it looks like there's new research upgrades. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to uh, install a mod. It's like three steps. It's not hard. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyone can do it. So you go to files. You click on whatever you want. You can even pick the outdated versions. Doesn't really matter. Um, if you pick the out, if you do decide to download the the outdated versions, it's not a big deal. Um, it's really, it's really not. So, anyways, you click on whatever you want. You want. Um, doesn't really matter. You click download now, and it will download. And then you go to your files. So pretend I downloaded it. That step is done. Just pretend I downloaded it. Um, go to your files. Go to uh, recently downloaded. Um, so this is brand new. I haven't actually installed this yet. So advanced campaign. Um, so there's two ways of doing it. Uh, if you don't have enough room on your, your computer, there's two ways of doing it. So the, so the first way of doing it is there's two ways of doing it the first way of doing it is extracting it right here in the downloaded section sometimes that's easier so I could extract it right here in the download section I'm not a big fan of that because it gets messy and there's a lot of it gets confusing so I'm not a huge fan of that it just burp it just gets really confusing so I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, the second way, so the first way of doing it, the first way of doing it is extracting it right here. So you go, you right click, um, you hit more options, and then you hit extract. Uh, you go, you go to seven zip. I'm using seven zip because it's free. Uh, the other one costs money. I think it's RAR or something. R A R, R A R costs money. So, 7 zip is free. Um, I don't know why it costs money. It doesn't... I only use it like once a year. But, you go to 7-zip. You go to Extract Files. And you're basically done. Um, the second way of doing it, which is the way I do it all the time, is I click on it. I drag it to Soulstorm, which looks like this. So, I click it. Drag. Or drag 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 like that now I gotta find it again which is a pain but it should be advanced campaign mod and I'm, and I'm totally okay with showing you my files I'm totally okay with showing you my files um, it's all Warhammer stuff so yeah not a big deal there's nothing like crazy in here it's just Warhammer files there's nothing, there's no secrets in here. You can look at these, but there's no secrets. Um, so, there it is. So, advanced campaign. Uh, I already downloaded the vanilla story mode. I already got that one all set up. And I tested it out, and it worked. I'll probably have to delete my save files. Because if you use your old save files with the new version, it tends to gunk up it tends to not feel good if that makes sense um and for so for, yeah for those out there who are asking about the red maps because i've been getting out a lot of questions about the red maps uh the red maps are right here the this right here is my if i click on this this is all the red maps so all the red maps is in this one folder right here it's a pretty it's a pretty big folder but it's every red map um, I have in this one folder so those of you asking how the, how I installed that um, I just put it right there and that's all I did um, and you just get a bunch of maps and that's how the red map worked um, so anyways uh, how to actually I should probably tell you how to um, install something. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Do that thing I told you before, where you go to more options. 7-zip. 
uh, extract files like that and then you just gotta hit OK and then you wait nothing interesting I can do here you just wait and all this stuff you see on here should be brand new um, all these words are you're seeing on here all that should be brand new to your game um, stuff you never seen before it shouldn't be you know the same old same old it should be a, you know it should be new and this and if this mod doesn't work for some reason you can just go back to base game or whatever um you know some of these mods just don't work and it's fine it's not it's not something to sweat about um so anyways i did uh so i finished extracting it so now i have two uh this was like three gigabytes so now i have two three gigabytes uh i have six gigabytes basically um, in that short amount of time, I just gained 6 gigabytes. So, you need quite a bit of space. Um, in my rant video, I was like, you know, who has 170 gigs of space? So, yeah, I don't have... My computer is not made for storage. Um, anyways, so, this is advanced campaign. But, as it is right now, it's actually not usable. Um, if you leave it as it is, it's not usable. Um, there are installers, like, I think I, I think I got rid of them, because you don't, you don't need to install, yeah, there's an installer, I got, I have the Crucible installer, so if you have an installer, it fixes it for you, but if you don't have an installer, you're gonna, you're gonna have to go ahead and fix this. So what happens is, um, this tells you what version it is. It's version, you know, whatever. But the problem with that is, um, there's this thing down here called module. And this module has to have the same name as the file. So this file says advanced campaign 40,000. SS1 and Advanced Campaign 40,000 SS1 has a different name than Advanced Campaign uh, Module. So these two have to line up. And basically, what you're going to have to do, there's two ways of doing it. One is just rename the file, that's not hard. Um, the second way of 